this lab as an IT professional protecting company data is one core responsibility. So you need to decide what data to be protected and choose and deploy data backup tools. To backup them locally or back, backup them remotely. Design, implement and run data backup and restore plans. There are many uh, data backup and restore software as those listed on Wikipedia. We have gone through this one during the lecture, list of backup software. Before you choose a backup software, it's better to compare these candidates to see which one is multiple, most suitable to your task. It depends on your task, right? So you can check the comparison of backup software. We also have gone through this one during the lecture. And in this lab, please compare the following three open source data backup software, DAW, Duplicate, and Bacula. We have gone this through these three software. This uh, Tuesday is mainly this uh, DAW. Right, we have uh, demonstrated this door uh, quite thoroughly and installed duplicate and uh, Bacula. As a Bacula is an enterprise data backup on the software. So you need to set up a backup machine. Usually we use a Linux machine as the backup server. You run this Bacula server on that Linux machine. Then on your client machine, for example, the client machine may be Windows, maybe Mac OS, maybe Linux. Then you install the Bacula uh, client program. And the client program is a backup program. Then you can send the backup data to the Bacula server. When you want to restore the client program, re retrieve the backup from the server and restore on the computer you want to restore. So the first task compares the following three open source data backup software, draw your conclusion and choose one for your personal data, data backup. So you need to compare their advantage, disadvantage, their features and so on. You may refer to this one, comparison of backup software. And you actually, when, after you look through these three software, you may, uh, you will see the most suitable one is a duplicate. So simplify, simplify your job in this lab. So you are supposed to choose a duplicate and install your chosen backup software on Windows or Mac or Linux machine. This duplicate is a cross-platform. It can be installed on Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. You can see the operating system. So you can do it on your laptop if you use Windows or Mac OS or, or Linux or in your virtual machine. It's up to you. So this is a duplicate and you also can go to its official website to find description. Yeah, you are supposed to use the latest version. And this uh, Bacula is an enterprise level backup software. So you are supposed to use the second one. Subtask two, you create a file folder for testing data backup and recovery, name the file folder as my data. And it contains three subfolders, documents. Inside of this one, put uh, several documents, for example, a PDF file, a text file, word document. Subfolder image, put uh, two images files inside. You can choose any files for this uh, test data. 
And in these programs, you just put to uh, executable files. Then you will set up that uh, WKD to back up, to set up a backup scheme to back up my data, this folder to uh, Google Drive. Then you delete some files from the local my data, then recover them from Google Drive. Here are the review questions. You need to answer these three uh, questions. The first one describes the pros and the cons of the three uh, backup software. Here in task one, you are asked to compare their features. Here, compare their features. And this review question, you're asked to compare the pros and cons of this real backup software. Then choose one for your personal computer disaster recovery and planning and state the reason why you chose that. So actually they ask you why that software, that backup software is suitable to your backup purpose and your personal data situation. The last uh, review question, what's your plan using this uh, chosen backup software for your personal data backup and recovery? You answer these five questions listed in this uh, backup your system as we went through this one uh, this uh, Tuesday. So which means these five questions, they help you to do a plan, right? In your plan, you answer these, uh, these five questions. Finally, you write a report about the process you complete the uh, tasks and uh, add some key sc screenshots as evidence. Now, for that, uh, I would like to, uh, since though, though I have, have demonstrated salary this uh, Tuesday, so I will show you there are some online demonstration for duplicate and the back color. I put them in the references here. For example, this is back color. The official manual, you can follow this uh, installation guide. This is very really complete. Here we have two uh, references, two categories of references. First one, install back color. Uh, Ubuntu server. So we can, for example, we can follow this one. Install backular backup server on Ubuntu 20.04. For this backular Windows client, install and configuration, you can uh, check this one, how to install and configure backup on Windows server. This window is uh, actually, we, we want to backup this Windows server. It's not save as the backular server. So here, this is a backular backup server. This part of install this Windows uh, back backular client to install Windows. When you come to this, uh, how to install backular backup server. This uh, reference is quite detailed and uh, you should be able to follow it if you want to install this uh, backup, backup server on Ubuntu 20.04. We know the data backup by this backup is saved on the in database. So you need to install database and configure those database. You can see the prerequisites, get, get it start, install backup, configure backup storage, configure backup director, modify backup job. We know Wi-Fi backup job is a very important step in backup and restore. Here you can see uh, if you want to run a backup server, there is some requirements. Certainly uh, based on your personal need and company need, you may need more resources to backup, right? Yeah, the install this backup. Backup is also available in the Ubuntu 20.04 default repository. So you can use this command to install it uh, directly instead of download from the 
your website. Here for the it also add a mail server for you. Okay, if you want to have a mail server, you don't need to do this one right here. It's just uh, Up the mail server in IDS 504, you will learn how to uh, set up a mail server. So here I just show you how to install this backup backup server on Ubuntu. You can follow these uh, slides. So that your mail server you may want to be uh, your enterprise level instead of local host, right? Then you can configure the backup, uh, backup storage, put all the data under folder called uh, backup. Maybe you have a uh, separate disk to backup your data, especially in company. Yeah, then you need some uh, configuration Start up the backup service. Configure backup director. Then start uh, restart this backup DR and uh, oh. finally verify your backup job. So for this one, you can install the backular cup server. For more detailed information is from this official installation in this uh, manual. It's an official manual. So the new is a reference manual. It contains all the information you need. What's backular new features and and so, on. for example, backup director, console, file storage, catalog, backup monitor. These are the components or services of backup. How do you configure backup? And that is a quick start. After you configure this backup backup server, then you want to in, you need to install the client on the machine. You want to backup. For example, this example is a, is a try to install a backup Windows client to backup the Windows server. Here, how to install and configure backup, backup on a Windows server. Here is an example. You can go through this example to have a look how to set up a backup client on Windows server and connect to the, your backup backup server. Here are some network configurations. And the installation you can see, you know, just choose the client and uh, the mode is this documentation set so you may put, include this documentation, refer to it for help. So this is how do you set up the client side and how to backup your system. Here the backup service run on this uh, Windows server. You can set, then you can set up a backup scheme to backup the system periodically or any scheme you want. So this is the enterprise uh, backup and restore software. So it's uh, quite complex. So you are only required to demonstrate using duplicate here. The duplicate, use duplicate to back up the boom of Linux, Mint, desktop, and servers. This one, how to install and use duplicate cloud backup solution. Yeah, you can choose this uh, reference. Yeah, in this uh, reference, the author showed us 
to install and use this course platform free, flexible, open source duplicate tool. What we install, we can open into it a web interface. So it show up as a web interface. Then you need to choose the cloud backup place, for example, Google Drive, OneDrive, and so on. Here, it shows the install duplicate inside of Ubuntu. So you don't need to worry about because uh, I think mostly you use Windows. Windows has an .exe file, right? You just download the duplicate .exe file if you use Windows, yeah? As I demonstrated during the lecture. For Windows, you download this one. For Ubuntu, you download this one. For Mac, you download this one. So you don't need, need to uh, install into your Google version. machine. So after the installation, for example, on Windows, I have this uh, duplicate installed. Right? When I run it, it will open a web interface. Here, local host with the port number. This interface is uh, identical across all the operating systems. You add a backup. You can, before that, you can change the settings, follow this uh, using duplicate. So how do you use, you see it, it's quite a uh, detail. First, add a new backup. Right, here are steps. General destination, source data. Destination is where you save your backup. Source data is what you want to backup, your personal data. Then you have a schedule. How do you back, back up periodically or daily or weekly and so on? And some further options. So you can follow this one. So complete your back, backup destination. Is uh, because we run this uh, duplicate caddy here. You can also choose a local folder or local drive if you want to back up on your local machine, right? Or you can choose a cloud storage. All right, this is uh, quite short. This, it chose the local storage. Yeah, let's see. I, I think when this one is, uh, is done to this part, no limitation. Here you see you can uh, back up your data somewhere. When it says click next here, it looks like this one is, is not complete. Right? It should contain some other pages, but I didn't see those uh, uh, next or one, two, three. You can also find uh, online resources by yourself. Here you just come to step three. Step four and uh, file. Here you see the does not show up. So you can check other references. Here, this one. His title is to, to back up the bone bone Linux and as we discussed, you can back up any machine. You will have to install this uh, duplicate on that machine, right? When you scroll on this one, I think this one uh, is more complete than the previous one. Okay, they show you how to install on Ubuntu and then run as a service. Then how to use it, configure new backup, general backup settings, 
whether you use encryption or your password add a description about it, your backup here it will demonstrate choose a job box so you can choose uh, other online storage resource add your authentication ID and so on. some advanced option then you choose your source data data the source data is the folder you created in the lab right you can also set some settings filter those filter out those files you don't want to back up for example temporary files hidden files see system files and so on. Mainly you back up your work, the documents you created, right? Now the schedule automatically uh, run backups and you set up schedule. Run again every every one day or every two day or something like that. And allowed days. General options, then you manually run a back backup going to now and manually restore it to have a look how to restore then you can follow this uh, to restore it's really uh, intuitive without uh, this uh reference you can just install that software and play with it a little bit then you will know how to do all these things uh, restore option how do you want to handle existing files, permissions, and so on. And also you can uh, set up the web server proxy for dedicated. This one is not required because you are only required to do it uh, locally. Here, inside of my duplicate, you check these settings access to this user interface you can supply a password for example if you, the computer is used by several users and you are the administrator you may want to set up a password but so these are very intuitive so you can check this stuff by yourself now for this uh, add backup create a new backup or you have uh, you can save those uh, configuration into a file data you can import those configuration create a backup for example you want to backup your photos or your works or your or your thesis then you add a description and the encryption algorithm then choose this uh, encryption or no encryption but if you say that saved online, it's better encrypt it, right? Then you set up a strong password. Strength useless, I set up a useless password. <laughs> Okay, now the next step, it come to step two, destination, where you want to save it. You want to save it locally or some other storage server, FTP, S3, FTP, WebDAV, OpenStack, or here, proprietary, for example, Google Drive, or Dropbox, and so on. But there are lots of options. And choose a, for example, Google Drive. You enter the destination path on your Google Drive. Here, this authentication ID, you click it, then you need to supply the, the information you log into your Google Drive. Yeah, Google Drive will log in. Inside your Google Drive, so you have many folders, right? You can put a path here. After you log in, you can test the connection and so on. 
advanced option, whether you want to add this advanced option. So for Google Drive, so you can check this stuff by yourself. Once you have a backup, you need to also demonstrate this restore. Restore from backup file, restore from configuration file. And so on. So this lab is uh, quite straightforward. So it does follow this uh, interface. We should be able to complete this uh, lab. Yeah, this lab is also quite uh, straightforward. Create a test folder, contains some files. Back up them to Google Drive, then delete some files from the local Drive and restore them from Google Drive. 